Rise returns. Welcome everyone to a brand new era in this organization. Welcome to a brand new venue in Baldwin and a brand new feel. My name is Joe Dombrowski. Happy to be here filling in and helping out for what is one of the most pivotal nights in the history of Rise Wrestling. A rebirth, a regeneration, a resurrection some would say. Love that speech from Brandon and Christy Kay at the start of this broadcast. You can feel the emotion. It's palpable in the air. And you want to talk about somebody that always brings emotion wherever he goes. You know there's been somebody chomping at the bit to get back in front of a crowd. It's Drake Braddock. He's called the heart of Rise Wrestling for a reason. He gives everything of himself each and every time in that ring. What a great way to kick action off. Well, you think about some of the most dominant groups in Rise Wrestling history, you've got to look at Golden Sheik International, Benjamin C. Steele, who I've had many run-ins with over the years, and he is never going to be on my holiday card list, but you cannot argue with the success, the champions he has managed, the major stars he has groomed to success, and just the latest in that long list is Trophy Boy Tyler Klein, of course, run half of the runway with Calvin Couture. Calvin has been uh, placing himself in this very controversial Rise Championship picture that we'll be talking about throughout the broadcast. But I love the energy in the air. I love the passion. It's been 15 months. It's been over 400 days since Rise Wrestling last joined us. And we are live across the world. Our affiliates at Indie Wrestling US are helping us out in a big way. And uh, our first tie-up and bit of action is finally here. It's Klein backing up Braddock into the corner. Braddock looking to reverse. Drake Braddock has an experience advantage. And opening up with the right hands. Drake Braddock knows all about being a veteran of combat, both in the ring and overseas in battle defending our country's freedoms. Benjamin C. Steele points out that Klein is quickly into the ropes. Tyler Klein referred to Drake Braddock as a, quote, stepping stone recently online and Rise Wrestling social media. And I think if Tyler Klein is underestimating what Braddock brings to the table, this may be a most sour return experience for the trophy boy and fashion designer and consultant of Calvin Couture. Side out takeover by Klein, but Braddock able to counter into the head scissors and Braddock is, is measuring that noise level and Braddock's one of those guys who, who thrives and thirsts off of that energy and emotion and he gives it to you and he wants that right back to him tenfold and the louder you are the more Drake Braddock can feel it and uh, that's what Braddock is all about in the ring. Braddock has said that uh, you better aim for the heart, Tyler Klein. Don't hold anything back because I'm bringing it. And uh, Braddock has predicted that Tyler Klein will be the one on the receiving end as Braddock now looks to cinch in a submission in the early going. Also modified rings of Saturn. And Klein in a bad way. Notice those, uh, those very pale... Uh, Conspicuous arms are that of Benjamin C. Steele, who helps navigate Tyler Klein to safety. No accident that Mr. Steele placed himself. And that Vantage, yeah, adjust the ascot, pal. That's your problem. Your ascot was askew, and that's, that, that's, you weren't feeling it. Drake Braddock! Trying to make sure Tyler Klein felt a suicide dive. Klein in the periphery was able to cut Braddock off the pass after seeing him. You can't underestimate Tyler Klein. He is uh, very superficial. He's very image conscious. That doesn't mean he can't go. Started his training up in New England, the Boston area, and then when migrated to Pittsburgh, 
uh, uh, and the surrounding areas continued to develop his skills. And he's been traveling the roads up and down the East Coast into the Midwest. Tyler Klein is all about his brand. Not just the fashion world, but the wrestling world as well. And Drick Braddock and Klein exchanging shots in the corner. But it's Klein able to get the cheap right hand in and take advantage. Mander Sterling is here this evening. They have been mired in controversy with some very controversial calls concerning the Rise Grand Championship. Klein into the cover off of the mare out of the corner. And we certainly will be watching with anticipation as to how Sterling's presence will influence our main event and the overall fate of that title. Double underhook suplex by Klein. Two count only. You know that some of those uh, Rise stalwarts are ready for battle. What about the Reaper, Matt Connor? What move will he be in competing in Rise for the first time in over a year? How about Shirley Doe and the now Derek Dillinger, former Derek Direction? So many questions to be answered tonight on a night that's all about momentum. And it's all about reestablishing yourself. And it's all about BC Steel being a nuisance. And inserting himself where he does not belong. Much of the chagrin, and that was, please never do that again. Ever. Tyler Klein, the fireman's carry. Into the Samoan drop. Will this be a hook of the leg? Count of two. Certainly the events of the world over the past year plus has changed all of us in one way or another. The question is, how do you adapt? How do you adjust? How do you move forward? Are you coming back in better physical shape? Better mental shape? Are you coming back with a, a tape measure hidden in your crotch? Because Tyler Klein did, and he's choking the bejesus out of Drake Braddock. Into the cover. Not like this. Come on. Only a count of two, thankfully. Drake Braddock gets that shoulder up. Imagine waiting this long to get back to action and then losing via tape measure. Braddock fighting back. Braddock is such a great striker. Deceptively strong when you look at his size. Flying able to battle free. Drives Braddock down. Head first. Is this enough? Braddock's not moving. Left shoulder slides up. I like that Klein offense. He was able to, to crimp that neck of Braddock and twist his body in a way where all of his weight was added to that momentum and planted down on top of Braddock, whose bell has to be rung, even if he is back to his feet. You can tell Braddock is not all there at the moment. Back to the clothesline now. Braddock maybe working on instinct, maybe shaking the cobwebs, but a mid-rig collision sends both men down. And it's hard to determine exactly which athlete got the worst of that uh, double cross-body attempt. Tyler's favoring the right arm. The, the tricep area. And Braddock's feeling it. When these fans start rocking, Braddock can find that second, third, fourth, fifth wind, whatever he needs, and Drake begins to unload. Some, some intense kicks. They are with authority. Tyler Klein is not going to win a striking game with Drake Braddock. I'm not sure if anybody in Rise can win a striking game with Drake Braddock. Those side round kicks. The chest cavity knockout shot Klein ducked. Back a cut on the rebound. Tyler Klein is a sitting duck. The standing moonsault. Will this be enough? No. Imagine going down in the history books as the first winner of the first matchup of the reset of Rise. There is a large audience watching across the world right now on Twitch. And Indie Wrestling US, certainly. Indie Wrestling not US. Well, they'll document BC Steel tripping up Braddock, who had this match won. Yeah, so casually. BC Steel is a stain on the underwear of life. 
but Braddock's able to rebound. Klein is sent to the canvas in a most aggressive way. And Braddock, Swan Ton connects. Drake Braddock the victory. Well, Drake Braddock has had issues with Tyler Klein and Golden Cheek ever since he bailed out Tony Johnson from that attack pre-pandemic. And a matchup 15 months in the making kicks off the new era of Rise in great fashion with a Drake Braddock victory. He came ready for combat. Tyler Klein had every trick in the book waiting. But you can see how much this moment means to Drake Braddock. Not just the victory, but being able to be in front of his fans once again. And what a raucous crowd we have for Rise Wrestling. And we are only getting started. Folks, stay with us. We have an historic night coming up. This is just the beginning. Rise Wrestling is back and Rise Wrestling